Getting air out of your car's AC system without a vacuum pump can seem like a challenge straight out of a car enthusiast's MacGyver manual. It's one of those situations where ingenuity has to replace the conventional tools we might not have on hand. Here's a step-by-step -step guide on how to tackle this problem with a bit of DIY flair. First, why is it important to remove air from the AC system? Simply put, air and moisture inside the system can significantly reduce the efficiency of your AC and sometimes cause it to spit out warmer air instead of cooling your cabin. Normally, a vacuum pump would be used to remove moisture and air, creating a vacuum and allowing the refrigerant to flow properly. Without the proper equipment, though, you'll need to get creative. Step 1. Gather your tools. You won't need a vacuum pump, but a few basic automotive tools will be necessary. A set of AC gauges to monitor pressure, and a can of refrigerant with a gauge. Being in Portland, Oregon, with its fluctuating weather, having your AC in top-notch condition is a must whether you're bracing for a hot summer day or a crisp fall morning. Step 2. Locate the low-pressure port. The low-pressure port is where you're going to be working. It's typically found on the larger line of the two AC lines, coming off the compressor. This port is where you would normally attach your gauges to monitor pressure levels. Step 3. Start the car in AC. Fire up your engine and turn your AC to the highest setting with the coldest temperature. This action starts the compressor and begins the circulation of the refrigerant. Step 4. Add refrigerant. With your can of refrigerant attached to the low-pressure port, using the hose that comes with most cans, you'll slowly start to add refrigerant. The idea is that as refrigerant flows into the system, it will push out air and moisture from the AC system through the compressor and out into the atmosphere. Step 5. Monitor the pressure. While adding refrigerant, keep a close eye on the pressure gauge. You don't want to overfill the system as it can cause damage. You're aiming to reach the pressure recommended by your car's manufacturer, which is usually between 25, 45 PSI for the low side when the compressor is running. Step 6. Check for leaks. Once you've reached the desired pressure and the system is cooling the car interior effectively, it's vital to check for leaks. This could be the reason air entered the system in the first place. If your AC starts blowing warm air again after some time, it might be wise to consult a professional as there could be a deeper issue at play. Step 7. Recycle. Always remember the environment in this process. If you end up with used refrigerant cans or need to dispose of old refrigerant, make sure to recycle or dispose of it properly, according to local regulations in Portland. Now keep in mind, this method isn't as effective as using a vacuum pump since you're not removing all the moisture. It's a bit like patching a leak rather than fixing the underlying issue. However, in a pinch, it can get your AC system up and running temporarily. For those of us in Portland, where we might not see extreme temperatures often but definitely appreciate the comfort of a working AC, getting a bit hands-on with our vehicle's maintenance can be both a necessity and a satisfaction. Just remember, when in doubt, consult with a professional, especially when it comes to complex systems like your car's AC.